Today we will take up from where we had left off in the last video. In the last video, we discussed and compared different category of field survey and data collection tools based on few criteria. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Kirti Kiran Pujar, an officer of Indian Administrative Service. In this channel, we are going to discuss topics ranging from tech to admin and everything in between. Before we proceed, let's address this basic question. What is the utility of this product or these tools we are discussing? Am I going to come across this topic any time in my life or career? Well, if any one of you watching this video are working in the areas of marketing, sales, environmental conservation, municipal administration, urban development, rural development, etc., then the stuff we are going to discuss will be bang for the buck to you. Let's choose EpiCollect 5 as a representative tool for this video. EpiCollect 5 is a mobile and web application for free and easy data collection. We are going to divide this video into three parts. Part 1 talks about building a form using the EpiCollect 5 dashboard. There you have various options for data fields. You just have to select the relevant ones, drag and drop to the right. This is something like backend process of this entire data collection activity. That means needs to spend some time to create this form with relevant settings. Part 2 talks about deploying such form on mobile and collecting the data. Once the form is activated by the admin, you need to download it on your mobile in the EpiCollect 5 app. Once the form is downloaded, we are good to go with the data entry. This can be compared to the front-end part where the users enter the data. Part 3 talks about data analysis and visualization. So let's talk in detail about building a form using EpiCollect 5 dashboard. So you can search for EpiCollect 5 in Google and once you log in, through Google account, this is how the EpiCollectify dashboard looks like. There are options for creating a project, weaving the data, and other demonstration projects in the dashboard. So let's go ahead and create a project. Once you click the create project uh, button, you have to enter various details for the project right from name. To a small description and other details so go ahead and uh, build the form right away so here we can see three options three parts mainly left middle and the right on the left there are various options for various categories of uh, data you need to collect you just have to pick the relevant ones for you drag and drop to the middle and enter their details so to the right most page we can see options like properties and uh, advanced uh, condition logic uh, options so this is uh, a sample form we're going to build and then we'll download it on your mobile so please don't forget to save this project regularly this is the most important part so the settings should be public active and hidden sorry the listed so once you have these relevant settings you are good to go to download this form on the mobile Going ahead, part 2 talks about deploying such form on the mobile. So we have already got the EpiCollect 5 app installed in our mobile. So we'll now open it. So we'll try to add the project. Remember the project name which is Biodiversity Chandrapur in our case. So the project is added. So we'll just go ahead and try to add the entries. So I'll go to the front yard of my house and there are various plants. I'll just try to enter the data of these plants in the mobile so osimum teriflorum the most common plant in each and every household of india that is tulsi so i'll enter the various uh, data so one data is already collected so we'll go to the next plant so we'll enter its name id endangered or not as a small description update the location try to capture the photo yes and then enter the name of the volunteer and finally submit save it so so far we have got two forms so likewise yeah don't forget to upload this data and also upload the photos that have been collected we will then go ahead and see it in the dashboard so in the final part we talk about data analysis and visualization of the data collected so far so again we go back to the epic collect file dashboard we click on the relevant project and then we click view data option 
here we can see all the data that has been collected through the epicollect5 form in the mobile it's there here so we collected uh, three data uh, entries and uh, you can even see the pictures of the plants that were captured so there are options for downloading the data visualizing the data on a map so let's go ahead and uh, see the data due reference to its location yeah. so this is very useful too if you ask me so we can download this data in uh, various options uh, primarily the csv and json let's download it as a csv file so once you download the file this is how it looks so let's go ahead and open it so this is the excel file of the data collected so far the first uh, four columns they are related to the unique id and the time of the data collected and the time of data uploading and then uh, the rest of the columns are corresponding to the data fields in the form that's it guys we are through this video i hope you found it uh, useful and it's up to you to judge whether it's a better alternative to google forms thank you very much please don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel and you can follow these handles for more updates thank you very much